My name is Mike Crockett, also known as Big Bald Mike. I'm a musician and a bouncer. I work downtown on West 6th Street, Key Bar, I check IDs, meet and greet bar patrons there. Thank you. Please, unless they'll bite me. I've played guitar for 15 years and I'm in a band called Razor 13. We've toured on a semi-national level, done everything on our own. I'd had a lot of personal problems over the last few years before that that had ultimately led to me just giving up and not wanting to be in a band anymore, not travel and do music. And from February 2008 till probably January 2009, I just went on a binge of drinking and partying. For me, music has always been an outlet of being able to create something and heal through it. I can take any, like any one thing that's been difficult in my life to deal with and use that to, to write a song, write a melody, a guitar solo, or maybe even something on piano. I've had more of an addiction to food and gargantuan portions uh, rather than alcohol. Not, not like my days at Olive Garden. I used to, used to go there and eat the never-ending bowl of pasta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> until they would cut me off on sauce. <laughs> I've been at 500 pounds for the last, the last five years. I turned 30 in a few months, so since I was 25, I've been, been that weight, and it's taken its toll on my body and my joints. I've always been fitness-minded as far as weight training. My knees are killing me, so we're going to do a light leg workout. Bam, bam, bam. It'd be quick. I was looking for an outlet to commit myself to to help me lose weight. The wrestler had just come out. Just on the street, random people just, you know, I've got tattoos going up the back of my neck and head, and uh, I'm tatted all over my body, and I'm bald. And They've always told me I look like an old wrestler called Haystacks Calhoun. Starting to make me think, well, maybe I could do this. And that was the, that was the sign. When I step in the ring, I, I, I just sort of blank out. focused on achieving my goal and getting down to a weight of 300 pounds. I'm feeling better. I'm down to 450 pounds now. After a week of training, I just made the commitment to myself that I wasn't going to drink anymore. And since then, everything has just followed in place. You know, I started eating better. You know, That's led to me becoming a, a whole foods vegetarian. I'm not looking to be a wrestler for the rest of my life. I don't necessarily want to go anywhere with this. I just want to I just want to get off drugs and alcohol and learn how to control my portions. I'm desperate. I'm not going to give up until I've until I've reached my goal. San Marcos motorists may see some street changes soon as part of the city's downtown master plan. Project manager Steve Guajardo says city council is considering changing some one-way streets to two-way. The council also decided to widen downtown streets and lower the speed limit to make it easier for bikers to navigate alongside motorists. 
The city's master plan also includes widening sidewalks and adding benches and trees. The street changes are expected to start within the next two years.